In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the reassign record functionality in Power Apps. Now, what is a reassign record functionality? Now, imagine a situation whereby uh, in your organization, let's say if there are five users who are working on some project and suddenly one of the member leave the organization. Now, there might be some records uh, which has been already been assigned or owned by that particular user who has decided to leave or who has already left the organization. Now, it is very essential to take ownership of those records. Now, how do you do that? So, just to show you, first, uh, I'm in the Power Platform Admin Center and I'm navigating to one of the environments. So, let me go into Girish Dev environment. Now, here uh, in Girish Dev environment, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into... Uh, say settings okay so if i click on settings over here then here i can i will navigate to users permissions and then from here i'll navigate to the user so just to set the stage now i'm logged in as girish so i'm the admin okay so i'm the admin over here now this is an admin and say let's pick one user say legu Okay, so Ligu is going to leave the organization or has already left the organization. So in that situation, what uh, needs to happen is like all the record uh, which Ligu has owned or has the ownership of it needs to be transferred to some other staff member. So maybe Alex or maybe Girish. Okay, so that's the scenario. So. Legu is leaving an organization has already left. Now I need to reassign all the records from Legu to someone else. So just to show you uh, some information before we even do that, uh, say, take for example, this is an app, okay, which is called as a world app and it has some tables, worlds, accounts and contacts, okay. So I'll just refresh this table. And here you will see that uh, these are the list of countries and capital of the world. Now, these records are uh, created by these many people. Okay. Now, if I click on edit columns and I'll add a column called as owner just to see who owns that record. Okay. As you see over here, this one of the record like this Kuwait, Kuwait city is owned by Lee Koo, Okay. And so take for example, if Ligu is already there within the organization currently uh, and Ligu goes and creates one more record. Okay, so take for example, if I say country as Portugal, let's Lisbon, and I'll pick some contact and account. That's it. I'll save this. Okay. Now, if you come back to your record, uh, I'll just save this view. Now here you will see that uh, <coughs> Ligu now owns two record. Okay, so Ligu now owns this record, the Kuwait city and Portugal Lisbon. Now take for example, if Ligu decides to move away from the organization, then all the Ligu related ownership record has to be shifted to someone else. Maybe it should be shifted to say maybe Girish. Okay, so how do we go ahead and do that? So an admin, what you need, an admin, what an admin needs to do is admin needs to go into the Power Platform uh, environment, which I'm here currently, go to the user who is departing or who has already departed, click on that record and click on reassign records. Okay. So from here in three dots, you will not find that option. But once you select this, you will see this option over here, reassign record. Now, the moment you click on reassign record, what it says, select the user or team. So you can assign it to either a user or you can assign the ownership to a team to assign all the records owned by the current user or team. So a, a bit of warning, it says this will move all record owned by the selected user or team regardless of state. This will also unpublish any workflows that you assign to another user before the assigned workflows can be used the new owners must publish them again. So what this warning is all about that if a user has already provisioned some workflows, then uh, those workflows needs to be published again. 
okay because that ownership is now shifted from one person to another so i'll be okay with it i'll say assign to either it is me if i am an admin uh, i can directly say uh, okay assign it to me or maybe another user or team in this case i'll select me but i can select another user or team as well and i can put the person's name okay so i'll just put kirish okay and i'll say reassign the moment you do that reassignment, it says all records owned by Ligu has been reassigned. So you will get this nice message over here. And if we go into the app, now as you see over here, this two records, Kuwait and Portugal, these two now currently belongs to Ligu. Now let's refresh the screen. And now as you see over here, the record Kuwait belongs to Girish and Portugal belongs to Kirish. So that means the record ownership has taken place. And now this current record is now owned by me. It is not owned by the ex-employee. So this is how you basically take the record ownership. Now this is not yet not only affected in this particular app, but if you have created any other app or any other records within Dynamics CRM, all those records will get assigned to Kirish. So it is either or or. You can't assign a partial record to uh, one person and another partial record to another person it is either full to one person or full to one team so if you're not sure that you want that record assignment to be done to another person you can assign it to a specific team so take for example if you belong to an it team or maybe finance team then assign it to the finance team and then all the members who belongs to the finance team will have access to that record so that's it folks this is how you basically take the record ownership uh, using Power Platform Admin Center, you select the user and then you click on Reassign Record. Thanks for watching.